Intersecting lines create a number of angles with a variety of relationships. In order to understand the postulates and theorems surrounding these relationships, we first have to understand the terminology. So let's first draw two lines. Next, let's draw a line that intersects both of these lines. And this line is called a transversal. And a transversal can be drawn in any direction. It just needs to intersect two or more other lines. When we draw the transversal, it creates eight different angles, four at each intersection point. Now, we've already discussed the relationships between the angles within the same intersection point. And the point of this video is to discuss the relationships between the angles formed at the different intersection points. So, when the angles are in the same position relative to the transversal, for example, angle 1 and angle 5 are both to the left of the transversal and above their respective intersecting lines. We call these angles corresponding angles. A transversal intersecting two lines forms four separate pairs of corresponding angles. Now, when the angles are between the intersecting lines but on opposing sides of the transversal, we call them alternate interior angles. Alternate means opposing sides of the transversal, and interior means between the intersecting lines. A transversal intersecting two lines forms two pairs of alternate interior angles. Now, when the angles are outside of the intersecting lines, but still on opposing sides of the transversal, we change the word interior to exterior and call them alternate exterior angles. A transversal intersecting two lines forms two pairs of alternate exterior angles. And finally, when the angles are between the lines, but this time on the same side of the transversal, we call them consecutive interior angles. Some textbooks replace the word consecutive with same side, which can really help in remembering that they truly are on the same side of the transversal. And that's it. So to recap, a transversal intersecting two lines creates a series of pairs of angles. These are called corresponding angles, alternate interior angles, alternate exterior angles, and consecutive interior angles. And now that you know the names, you're ready to understand the relationships when those intersecting lines are parallel.